Hi, this is Dr. Newhouse the Newhouse Foot and Ankle. I want to talk to you about a problem that's very serious related to diabetes. I see a lot of diabetic patients because diabetic patients have a lot of foot problems. We know that there's about 25 million people, according to the American Diabetes Association, that have diabetes in the United States. Of that population, 60 to 70 percent of them have some sort of nerve damage. When you get nerve damage, you get tingling, burning, numbness that affects your feet. So you can walk and step on something and not feel the injury. You can step on a rock, a piece of glass, uh, what have you, and cut your foot and not know that there's a problem because you don't feel. So the way that people realize that they have an issue like that or an injury to the bottom of the foot is somebody in the family says, you know, what smells and by, the, by that time there's an infection and, and the infection is starting to spread in the bottom of the foot and it becomes a huge problem. Um, we also know that people with diabetes have difficulty healing. Um, they heal slower because their immune system doesn't work as well. That's one of the problems with diabetes. Uh, so when you have that combination of numbness in the feet or abnormal feeling in the feet because you have nerve damage, you have an injury, you're setting yourself up for the risk of an amputation. You can develop what's called, at the beginning, uh, what's called an ulceration. An ulceration may start out as what looks like a callus or a, a blister on the bottom of the foot. Well, when that blister is taken off, you do what's called a debridement or a trimming of the skin. Um, you peel that off and you can see the wound. And that wound can oftentimes be, be very deep and uh, a lot closer to the bone than you think because we don't have a lot of meat separating our bones from this, the surface of the skin on the bottom of the foot. When that happens, it's very easy for that infection that can set in to spread into the bones. By the time that infection spreads to the bones, there's not a lot that can be done to save the bones. We can certainly give people antibiotics and try to take pressure off of it, put people on crutches and that sort of thing, but oftentimes that, that will end up in an amputation. Again, according to the American Diabetes Association, about 60% of the amputations that are done each year in the United States are related to diabetic-related problems. So it's a, it's a big problem. It's something I see on a regular basis. There's typically not a month that goes by that I don't do some sort of an amputation of a toe or part of the foot. Um, and that can be a life-changing problem. So a diabetic ulceration is something that needs to be taken very seriously. Diabetic patients need to get in the habit of inspecting their feet on a regular basis. If they ever have any problems or questions, they need to see their doctor or their podiatrist uh, right away to get that treated to help prevent a, a problem which could lead to an amputation. So I hope that helps you understand about diabetics and uh, ulcerations of the feet. And we're happy to see you in the office. So thanks for using the website.